Hello and welcome back to Soma Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, the uh, Four Horsemen for the month of August are they're having an invitational or a build for uh, you doing the Roger Dodger ID as a 1970s street machine. I think we're on, got a pretty good start already as a 1970s street machine. Get the big engine sticking out of the hood and some zoomy headers dumping down under the car. Big, big and littles on the tires and uh, flames. So pretty much a 70s street machine as it sits. However, we're going to tear it down and see if we can't put my own little Summo diecast spin on a Roger Dodger ID. So uh, everybody please stay tuned and we are going to see what we can make of this uh, Roger Dodger as a 70s street machine. Okay, we have our Roger Dodger ID all blown apart. Got some heavy duty paint and tampos on here. Two posts. Excuse me. And a candy paint. Should have finished that body just a little better before you shot up the candy. And window unit. Of course, this is brand new, so everything's going to be in really good shape. And we have our interior all chrome and that probably will not stay all chrome and we have our base with a little ID chip in it and wheels of course they just popped out while they are not an unattractive wheel they are not 1970s so all right let's go ahead and uh, get the casting in the stripper and get rolling everybody stay tuned
Okay, I want to stop here for a minute and just show you something I generally do off camera. When I am doing a lot of modifications, like I've done by filling the hole with styrene on the hood of this Roger Dodger, and then uh, I've created a hood scoop out of a fingernail. <laughs> Don't tell my wife where the fingernail went. Then, once all that's dry and I've kind of roughed it out, I hit it with a filler primer. And that lets me see, as you can see, where areas I need to address. And from there, I start doing a little bit of sanding. And... This is also useful if you're wanting some of the really, really smooth paint jobs like you see Time Rider do. I know Lee sands and sands and sands and I believe he uses this technique. Uh, he will paint it and then sand it completely clear of all, all of the primer and then he will uh, fill it again and, and or you just continue to sand. I know other guys that do it this way just to get the smoothness. I use it to identify areas that really need attention. And so I will continue to sand this. And I'm using 800 grit wet dry sandpaper here to uh, just to hit the area that I know I, I is already is rough and needs to be break, uh, brought down and, and evened out. So I'm going to keep doing this, and this can get very monotonous. I know it does for me, and I do it. So we'll uh, continue on and see you in a bit. And here is a real quick, quick look back at the uh, Roger Dodger ID. Uh, where we started, let's go ahead and go to the reveal and see how it came out. Everybody please stay tuned. And here is our completed Roger Dodger ID. And done up in the uh, what I consider a 70s muscle car. First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, four horsemen for having this little build and uh, for allowing us all to take part in it. As you can see, I uh, did a little engine delete and uh, created a scoop on the hood for uh, out of a fake fingernail. Don't tell my wife, that's where it came from. And then uh, painted it in a Model, Model Masters uh, candy burgundy over a uh, metal cast base coat and uh, painted the interior in flat black and the base and kept the headers chrome and uh, of course detailed out everything the uh, front bumper back bumper tail lights and headlights to the grill i used a little uh, null oil in the grill up front to uh, give it a little definition 
and then detailed the headlights and the turn signals and the tail lights. Swapped on a set of uh, reel riders. It already had, uh, a, I think, a proper stance from what I remember in the 70s. A lot of them were jacked to the high, uh, jacked uh, sky high in the back and dumped in the front. And a lot of them just set high all the way around. I uh, had a friend back in the day. I had a 63 Impala. And he had a, uh, I think it was a 70 Challenger. And I just drooled every time I saw that car. And that's what this Roger Dodger made me think of. So I kind of built it in memory of his car. But uh, after I got it painted, uh, of course we clear coated it with about four coats of Menwax Clear. Gave it a uh, flat black hood. And due to all of the sanding and smoothing on that hood scoop, I uh, kind of eradicated the cast in uh, hood pins. So I just made a couple out of some Molotov pin. And uh, I think it's a good representation of it. And then, of course, picked out the rest of the chrome around the rear window and the front window, or windshield, and the, the little... Uh, quarter lights I guess they are anyway I hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up if you are not a subscriber please do and share this with your friends and once again thanks to the four horsemen be sure you go and check out everyone else's builds I know uh, there are going to be several and uh, if uh, you come across some of those that you are not currently a subscriber to give them a subscribe like their videos and uh, come back for more I will see you in the next